I grew up in Baltimore. I was born across the street, Hopkins. Stayed in Baltimore most of my life except for college. I liked science in high school a lot. Math and science were certainly my favorite subjects. Um, and then when I went to college, uh, I took as many science courses as, as I could. I guess in the beginning I just enjoyed the kind of information that you get from studying science. The fact that you could get really hard answers to questions. Um, the fact that uh, you could, that everything was so logical. Um, and that it was, uh, you could conceivably do experiments to answer questions. Um, all those things appealed to me. I made the decision to go to medical school. Sometime during uh, college, I thought I'd like to do something that had more immediate practical applications to people. And um, at that point, I decided to go to medical school to learn about diseases. I did a residency in pediatrics. That's when I met my first cancer patients. That made a large impact on me. I was torn to a certain degree between taking care of patients, which is a very fulfilling occupation, or doing research. Having done both, I decided that research was more exciting for me personally. Uh, I enjoyed trying to get answers that no one had gotten before. That feeling was strengthened when, when I started taking care of patients with cancer and have been doing cancer research ever since that time. The lab is run kind of like a family. You know, we, can, we consider everybody a lab family member. People socialize a lot while they're here. They work together uh, as groups, which helps them both scientifically and professionally. Once they leave here, almost everybody keeps in pretty frequent contact with us. For my birthday party when I turned 50 a couple of years ago, uh, everybody came back to their surprise birthday party. That was a lot of fun. Um, every trainee from all parts of the world came back to celebrate. We have some recreational activities. We have pool table and a ping pong table in the lab. We have teams that play other labs. So people generally remember it uh, as a good time in their lives when, uh, when they learned a lot and um, matured scientifically, but also had a lot of fun. There could be nothing more fun than doing experiments in the lab <laughs> for me. That's part of what I like to be a scientist. I mean, we have the best toys you could possibly imagine. And it's just a lot of fun to play with them. But I do do other things. In addition to spending time with my family, the other things I do is uh, I play racquetball. I used to play uh, uh, tennis when I was younger, but now I play racquetball. Um, and uh, pretty competitively. I also play the keyboard. Our lab has a band we call Wild Type, which is a play on words. Wild Type means normal in genetics. We're probably anything but normal, but at any rate, we play at scientific meetings and various seedy bars down at Fells Point, which is uh, <laughs> near the hospital, uh, and that was fun. My wife, Eileen, is an early childhood educator, and she also teaches communications at Towson University. I have three kids, Jacob, Joshua, and Ava. Jacob and Joshua, both in graduate school uh, in engineering or neuroscience. Uh, Ava's uh, 16, she's still in high school. What would I tell a person who wanted to pursue a career in science who was a high school student? First thing I think I, I would encourage them is try to work in a lab because the experience in a lab and experimental science is much different than the science that's in textbooks. And I think there are a lot of opportunities for bright uh, kids, especially when they're in college, to actually get into labs during summers or when they have electives and learn what science is really like. I think th those students who do work in a lab and find that they enjoy the experience, they know that's what they want to do. Uh, and there's no turning back.